I want to just explain a couple of things about the awards that we give for soloing. Someone was asking, how do y'all do when you judge? We all get together, we, we talk about things, we talk through things. When someone is the expert in their field, we don't challenge them. That way we don't waste a lot of time. We respect our colleagues and they all work very, very hard. Rhythm section people deal with rhythm sections, brass people, horns. It's two brass players, so Chris and I go back and forth and we can cancel each other out. <laughs> when we give soloist awards, what we're looking for is uniqueness of personality. Joe Lovano said something great today. He's at his gig tonight at the Vanguard right now. He said, your music inside of the music. Jazz is about finding yourself and doing your own thing. No matter how unconventional it is or whether people make fun of it, find your thing. The second thing, and also important, is the underlying science. If a thing is not verified by underlying science, it's conjecture. Harmonies, chord progressions, rhythms, they're a part of our music, especially when you're younger, it's important for you to come to grips with harmonic progressions. So many people we heard play, and we like their playing, but we have to hear a sense that you've spent time either at the piano or singing or something to get a good, clear grasp of harmonic progressions and to play ideas. The other is blues feeling. You have a sense of what the blues is and how to apply it to this style of music. It's American music. It's rooted in the blues. It's the nature of country music, bluegrass music, church music, gospel music, Anglo and Afro-American hymns, Afro-Latin music, all of these musics they have the blues in them. It's just, it's basic to the style of this music. I want to say something to any, anyone who's sitting there that is angry that you were not selected for an award. It's very important to have that emotion. I want to teach you all uh, two words together. They're called antagonistic cooperation. Something antagonizes you but it cooperates with your development. I remember once I played the Hummel Trumpet Concerto. I was a junior in high school. I was so arrogant that I thought I would win everything and I lost. And I called my father, I said, man, I lost. And he was absolutely quiet. I said, what do you think about that? He was quiet. He said, when are you gonna get home, man? I said, such and such, I thought it was a big deal. I came home, he didn't say anything. But my older brother Bradford started to call me Hummel Trumpet Concerto. So every day he was, hey Hummel, would you like something to eat, Hummel? Can somebody go in the back and call old Hummel? I got so sick of hearing him calling me Hummel. I practiced the Hummel Trumpet Concerto so that he was sick of it. I said, I'm, every time you say Hummel, I'm going to come in your, where you are. And Antagonistic cooperation. If you think you deserve something, go get it. That's what you have to do. I want you all to, to think for a second. It's important because a lot is going on for us to sit in silence in the, in the space with, with one, one another. All music comes out of silence. It's important. This is an inflection point in our country's history. This is a time for us. We're struggling in this time. I want you all to think at this time what your band directors did. I want you to think of how difficult it was across these two and a half something years to keep momentum in a program, to keep you engaged, to continue to work with the school administration, with parents, to be a counselor, a friend, someone who proselytizes for a program, who remains involved and engaged in your life. I want you to think about the depth of what they have given you in rehearsals, out of rehearsals, the conversations you've had, what their family sacrifice, what they want for you goes far beyond a festival and an award. You're gonna know them your entire life. You can't know it possibly at your age, what it means. My band directors have all passed away. If I could just hug my, my high school, one of my high school band directors, one more time, even though we argued and fought the entire time. 
I understood at a certain point how much this man loved me. I want y'all to think about it. And we are here, and it's been a struggle for everyone to get here. And it's been a struggle. But here we are in this room tonight. Some of the best young people in the world. You hear all the time about the division of the generations, the young people, the this, the that, the old people, blah, 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 blah. It's people trying to make money off of young people, telling them old people are stupid, older people saying they're disgusted with young people. That's not what we experienced here in this festival over this time. That's not what's in you all's playing. That's not what your band director said when we met alone. All of what they expressed, I wrote down. It was about what was in everything they said was how much they loved the young people that they work with. 